We're going to be going through what TradingView is, how we use it for our analysis, and I'm going to be taking you through each step to have the same setting as me because this is super, super important, guys. You need to have the exact same settings because a lot of people are going to have some weird charts when you first when you first join up. So I'm going to be taking you through how to get your same the fib look like mine, how to get the trend lines, how to kind of favorite the tools, and I'm taking you through step by step. So first thing you want to do is type in TradingView into Google, okay, and you're going to click this one here, UK.TradingView. Obviously, mine's the UK because I live in the UK, but it should always be the first one that comes up. So click that, and it will take you to this, okay. So here, I it's, I'm already signed in because um, I have an account. So if you go over here, it will say sign in, and then you can sign up, and it will say, um, you know, what account do you want to go for? I would go for Pro. I have Pro Plus because I trade cryptos and stocks as well, so I want to have more alerts. So guys, I'll leave the link below to the plans that you can choose from. Um, if you don't, if you do go through the link, yeah, um, it will be supporting the business as I said. So if you want to do that, please go ahead and support it. But if you don't want to do that, then just find it um, by typing it in. But by going to that page, you'll then see what the difference between the plans are. I have Pro Plus because I trade cryptos and stocks as well. So um, that's why I have Pro Plus. But if you're starting out as a beginner, I would just say get Pro because you do want to have some alerts um, and it allows you to be a bit more relaxed trader and not have to sit in front of the charts all day. So please sign in and then go for Pro, I'd say. Um, and then once that's obviously done, it will be, then your page will then look like mine, okay? You'll be signed in, so you'll have your little whatever your username is and it will, that will come up here. This won't be there because you wouldn't have selected any yet. And then the next thing we want to go to is this. We want to go to Chart, okay? So I've got some charts up there. So now this is the, my settings already set and I'm going to show you how to do this. So the next thing we want to go to, your chart might look a little bit different. It might have some stuff down here, but let's, let me show you how to, to, take, to take those away. So we're going to be going to the top right corner and go onto the settings or chart properties. And then I want you guys, you guys to pause this video um, and, and basically select everything that I have selected. So the body should be this color green, okay, light green and then light red. So like a vibrant, two vibrant colors. Borders should be kind of dark grey. That's not a black, that's a dark grey because we want the wicks to be a different colour to the borders. So that is like a dark grey, so select that. Last price line there as well. Um, and then just make sure, you know, your time zones, wherever wherever your time is, okay, you want to make sure that's correct. So that is, you know, the settings here. We're going to go into status line um, and, you know, select everything but the indicator values, okay. And then the background should just be in the middle, okay. So that's the ones you should select here. Scale. Um, so it should just be symbol last price label there and the la these four here, one, two, three, um, and then make sure you have the exact same settings. I'm not going to read them all out because there's no point. The ones that I don't have selected are basically just irrelevant. There's so many tools and so many kind of different things you can use. There's no point me just talking for about five hours about every single tool because it's just not relevant. Okay. We want to be using the same ones as me. Appearance, this one's quite important. So make sure background solid. Uh, vertical grid lines are white, horizontal grid lines are white. Okay, if you don't have that and you have them as grey, this is what it will look like. Okay, and it's all ugly and it's just confusing. So make sure they're white. Okay, guys. Session breaks, blue, um, like a dark grey there, white, like a grey. And then no watermarks because if you have a watermark, it will basically look like this and you'll have the pair behind it and it just looks really ugly. If you're, if you're taking screenshots and you want to send it to people, then maybe use that. But um, it's not really something that I use because it's just ugly. And it just, you know, the more things on the screen, the worse it looks, um, and the more confusing it can get. So these are the percentages there. Trading, um, have the same ones here. So it's up to you if you want to have like player sound on audit execution. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, but these are the ones that I use. So make sure that's the same. And then events, I have these bottom three here. If you want to have that one, you know, you'll have all these at the bottom, okay? You have all these little things and you can click on it and it will show you the event. But to me, I don't really want that kind of stuff. Because look what it does to the screen. It just makes everything super, super like complicated. You don't need that stuff there. So I don't have that selected. And then press OK and it'll save it. Okay, so that, that's the first thing. The next thing we want to do is the Fibonacci settings. So Fib retracement. So let me just draw this on because this is a, a really important tool that we're going to be using. So let me just draw it like this. So, so I want you guys to make sure you have the same levels as me on the Fibonacci. So when you're drawing it out, you can draw it out anywhere. And I want you guys to double click it. And the next thing I want you to do is go on to style, which is the first selection here. And I want you guys to type in the exact same number. So minus 0 0.27, make that red. And then the zero needs to be there, make that black. And then the 0 
382, make that like a rouge. And then 0 0.5, make it like a blue. 0 0.618, make that kind of yellow or like a goldy yellow. Um, 0 0.786, make that purple. And then the one, in case it's just a number, so just the number one, make that black. And then last but not least, the minus six, um, the minus 0 0.618, which will be green. Okay, so I want you guys to type these all in. Okay, make sure you're typing them in exactly, even if there's going to be like, if you miss a minus, it will make it all wrong. So make sure you're taking your time here and uh, make sure you have the same, you know, all, all of these unticked. Okay, so that's kind of the ones that I use, to be honest with you, um, for this strategy that I'm going to be showing you. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is scroll all the way down because this is the part where it's uh, most important. Okay, if this is all the way across, look what it does. Okay, it makes the fib look like this. We have no idea what's going on. So you want to make sure your background is all the way to, you know, the left side. So have that ticked and have it on the left side. Have price ticked and levels in percentages and on the right and the right middle. Okay, so th this is what it should be like if you change this and you put this to the left. This is what the fib will look like. It will come to the left side, which you don't want that. I mean, it's up. To, it's personal preference, but I'm giving you what I, you know, I want it to be the same as me. So when I give you guys analysis, if you do decide to join the members group, you'll understand it completely. So this is the Fibonacci, and that is just kind of the tool that we're going to be using um, down the line. Don't worry about it for now, but we just need to have the settings there. So let me just place it back on the chart where, like I did before, and this is what it's going to be looking like, okay? So that is good. Um, the next thing we're going to be doing is... We're going to be going through the this bar up here okay so this bar is basically my favorites bar okay so i have rectangle i have cross i have an arrow i have a fib retracement which is what we just gone through i have an ellipse tool i have an arrow i have a text box i have a brush i have a long position i have a short position i have a horizontal line and a trend line okay how to get this all we got to do is go to the left side we make sure that we star each of these things so if i unstar it it gets removed from the list and if I star it, you can see it's joining back at the end, okay? So we're going to be going through, go, go, start from the top, the cross is there, arrow there, star them, and then the trend line's there, horizontal line, arrow, okay? You can star them, unstar them, it, it will come up and leave, okay? And then I want you guys to go through each one, okay? So brush, rectangle, ellipse, text box, long and short. Okay? So yeah, that is, you know, how to get your favorite bar, okay? So all you got to do is just go to the left side, select the ones that I have. I want you guys to have the exact same as me. Yeah, and I want you guys to make sure you're saving. So this button here, makes it basically means you can save your charts. They do save automatically every 10 minutes if you have that on, but just make sure you're clicking that to save your chart and then when you come back, it saves. Um, you can also like make new chart layouts, load charts and stuff. So when I first um, so when I first started, I just made like an XRP chart. It doesn't really matter what you have there. You can do what you want with that. So you, you can just have a save or press or have it as save button or something. It all just depends what you want to have. But yeah, so you can individually save each chart. So when you can, you can like basically load it up and it will say, you know, GBP AUD or XAUSD. But um, I don't really do that because I'm changing my charts all the time. So yeah, um, other tools that we want to be going for is the capture tool. So that basically, if you, if I press copy here and then I went to Telegram and I went to the members chat and I put it in and I sent it, it would basically come up with a perfect screenshot of my trade, of my trade setup which I can kind of send to people if I want um, them to see my analysis. Or if you guys wanted me to see your analysis, you could do that and send it to me. Um, coming over here, this just makes it full screen, okay? Nothing really much to explain about that. So if you just want to, you know, show someone something, that's fine. Back button basically does undoes things. So here I accidentally pressed the text and um, it came up. So you press that to go back. This basically is bar replay. So, you know, you can go back in time and then play out um, particular scenarios this will play out um, and you can change the speed of it which is good for back testing the strategy if you want to you know see certain things um, nothing really else to kind of go through in this moment in time everything else I'll, I'll, I'll talk about so I'll talk about time frames I'll talk about kind of indicators and the tools that we're going to be using but for now you know once you have your settings the same as mine we'll then be you know be ready to start um, implementing the strategy and starting to kind of it, to starting to bring it all together. So hopefully you now have the saying the same as me, and now we can go into the next video.